Quick, darling. Put channel 865 on. My new advert is about to premiere. She wears one. He wears one. The audacious. The alluring. Those who dare. Masterfully manufactured by the very same artisans who brought you timepieces by Sir Wellington. Classy cause and minimalist movement. Now you can be as dashing and dazzling as moi. I'm going to be swimming in cash and Cartier's, darling. <laughs> My CFO says the profit margin on this outsourced quartz rubbish is positively tremendous. Hulex, wear me if you dare. Hulex, 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 Hulex. Tempt the gods. Hulex, Hulex. Become a god. Hulex, 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 by moi, Hugo, Mount Bet. Where Hulex, Hulex. Available for five easy payments of $49.99. Taxes and shipping not included. This item is non refundable, and batteries are sold separately. Side effects include allergic reactions due to the steel plating, mild green discoloration of the skin, nausea, and buyer's remorse. This product is not approved by the FDA or FTC. Accuracy, water resistance, and product satisfaction are 100% not guaranteed. Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. And once again, I'm joined by the man, the myth, hey. the horological legend. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing uh, good. Like, like we haven't been sitting here for several yeah. hours. <laughs> like, well, let's get wristwatch checks out of oh. the way. Oh my God. Forgot. Oh, so this is, okay, so first one is the Islander Republic GMT. Gorgeous. It's a Salida. SW330, uh, three times a watch, I guess. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, so, um, track in right now, let's see, I'm tracking uh, Zulu time and also the time in uh, Switzerland. Nice, first, oh, because first. it's Swiss made, right? Yeah, well, for my friends at Squally. Setting the one, the, uh, the inner one to Zulu time uh -huh. uh, for flying is like, it's awesome yeah. because everything is, is, is based off of a GPT. I love that chapter ring. Yeah. It's uh, the size, oh, the loom numerals, 12, yeah, yeah, 3, nice. 6, 9, yes. Yeah, it works out. Is, the, is the bezel loom? Of course it's the bezel loom. <laughs> <laughs> the bezel loom. This is Islander. Of yeah. course, we yeah. loom everything. And then yeah. I am sporting an acquisition. Oh, wow. That, uh, from the Wind Up Show. Nice. Uh, I bought uh, my first brew watch and got to meet Jonathan, which was really cool. Uh, it's the Brew 8 bit. So look, see the cup of coffee? Yeah, bottom? that's really cool. Oh, yeah, it's really nice. It's that case is amazing. Yeah, it's really cozy. Very nicely done. I love it. I love how it's like brushed and then it's got the yeah. polished. On the sides and the, the way the strap integrates. It's really nice. Yeah. That is very neat. Thanks I have to watching. say that is something in person is 10 times better more. than what you yeah. think. Yeah, you know, it's. I knew I knew I wanted one, and then when I saw he was going to be at the show, I was like, yeah. okay, I'm going to buy one. Then when I saw it, I was like, ah, i got to have it now. Can I be extremely vulgar yeah. and ask, what are the prices of these? Oh, you can. Uh, this one is, I want to say this was three ninety five. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, okay. I was going to, I was expecting way no, more. No, three ninety five, okay. and the Islander uh, is eight ninety five. Wow. Salida so SW330 movement, full sapphire, sapphire, everything. But yeah. Wow. I, honestly, I thought both of those would be in, over the thousand mark. Yeah, no, this is... That's gorgeous. Well, I have officially the cheapest yes. watch. Well, not the cheapest, that's the derogatory term. Least expensive. Least expensive. Uh, this is the Rico. It's the Dynamic, the uh, Dynamic, what was, the, what was the name? Dynamic White? I can't even read that. I did a whole video on it. It's the, it's the martini talking. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> the, <laughs> yes, full disclosure, we, we had lovely lunch and I had a very dirty martini. And um, yeah, so wonderful bit of Japanese horology 
at one point when they made this watch, they were second only to Seiko. Right. Um, in making automatic movements and really impressive proprietary made movement with this strange, you know, you pull out the crown to mm. set the date. As you can guess, it's basically a day day. Yeah, it's pretty much what it is. So it's nice. But I love it. It's a little Japanese day day. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, what are we discussing today? Uh, the biggest scams in um, watches. Yeah. I yeah. Guess you, could say, you could say so. <laughs> but I wanted to do this with you because I wanted to have your insight. Because obviously, if you're not familiar by now, uh, how would you how would you describe yourself? <laughs> watch oracle uh, watch store owner engineer okay. turned watch store owner Beautiful. that's pretty much the easiest that's way to perfect say it. yeah so obviously he has some insights he i'm talking about you're not here mark has some insights that i i'm more of a consumer enthusiast yeah. buyer in fact actually that's how we met yep. i thought it'd be interesting to get your perspective on this love to give it so i've written 10 uh 10 widely recognized kind of scams so to speak yeah, what scams are things of ill nature yeah or... ill nature that's a very polite way of putting it uh, so the first one which you did a fantastic response to i, I should put, play a clip are the scammers in the comments of youtube yeah. channels which maybe they'll get this video yes wouldn't that be awesome and guys, you're not receiving any free uh, Yeah, no, gift. no, there's no free nothing. <laughs> there's no free nothing, no. Just just free entertainment. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I, I explain to me how what, what happens in this scenario. So I th I'm sure a lot of people are kind of familiar with it, yeah. but if you're not familiar with it, it, you really need to just like be cognizant of it. Yeah. So what happens is a scammer will simply adopt the logo of your channel, mm -hmm. which they're... Uh, which is I, a trademark infringement. Well, it would be if it's, a, if it's a registered trademark, yes. It's a registered trademark. You know how many, of, how, yeah, you know how many of these guys I've, reco I've reported yeah, yeah. now? Uh, so they, um, they'll just adopt it. And then because all the filters pick up what you type, yeah. if they type a comment instead, their handle will be... Um, what's at me at and, right. and a phone number, but it's right. not a phone number. It's, a, it's numbers in circles, if you notice, because that yes, shows off the filters get away. and stuff. Yep, yeah. right. Or telegram me at, yeah. um, and it says, you know, you know, see above, you won the big prize or whatever. And right. even if we're not giving away a prize today. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and then, well, I guess I did a video. Yeah. <laughs> I did yeah, a video on it. This video, we'll leave a thing here where <laughs> Mark had a whole conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, because I felt bad because one of my customers explained to me that he went down the rabbit hole. Oh, well, right. Well, not went down the rabbit hole, he fell for it. Oh, and no. And he wanted it to be true and yeah. he was out a couple hundred bucks. So I was like, well, how did it work? And he explained it to me. I'm like, well, I got to see this. And I went, <laughs> I went down the rabbit hole just for right. fun. Yeah. We had a whole conversation back and forth. And uh, yeah, it's just a scam. It's all a scam. Everything's a scam. And some scams are, you know. Sophisticated. Yeah. And I, I, think it's a, I guess it's sophisticated, but it's also, you think of it like, wow, that's actually a pretty good, it's a pretty good idea. I mean, yeah. it's a pretty good scam. Ingenious. Yeah, yeah scam. So they ask for the shipping of the price. Basically, it's the shipping of the product and duty, I guess, in this duty. case. Duty or tax. But if you do that several advance. hundred times. Yeah. You, all talking. it takes is, you know, yeah. if you're leaving comments with a robot, all it takes is a couple of people and you yeah. make a tidy little profit. I, I can't tell you how many hours I've gone through deleting, reporting, yeah, delete. It's, it's, it's tedious. It, you know what annoys me, aside from the, the, the thought of having, you know, the audience right. being ripped Fall off? Right, yeah. I love interacting with comments. I love I right. love talking to the audience, getting their ideas. Sometimes you guys come up with amazing. A lot of the concepts of these shows are down to what you guys want to watch. Right. And and it kind of makes not kills that interaction it because minimizes it minimizes it all. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like you had to ruin it. Yeah. You know what I mean? In my in my in my <coughs> world, you know, we'll get emails then. Oh, did I win something? I'm emailing you. Mm -hmm. Like you didn't win anything. Yeah, you, you know, didn't. And then it bogs us down with emails. And, yeah. And I, it's not good for anybody. No, I agree. Except the scammer, I guess. I liked how you handled it. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I wasted someone's time. I guess I wasted some of my own time. Yeah. But I had a good time. Yeah, you yeah, had a good time. That's what counts. Um, so number nine, I've written redials or non-original parts. I see this a lot where like sellers primarily on eBay, but I don't want to single out eBay because I've also had a lot of great experiences with, right. with eBay. Sure. I still buy watches on eBay, so it's not all doom and gloom, but if you don't know what you're doing, the, the redials have got quite good. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's painfully obvious. It's like 
for example, this Rico, right? Yeah. Um, Google the watch and just do an image search and look really closely at the lettering. The danger is, is when people mask it in language like restored dial. Right, right. You know, right. right. Or, or they don't even disclose it. Right. And I think that's, that's a scam. Right. You know, you've got to say what you're selling. Right. Uh, and that goes for all the parts. Always ask if it's all really original parts. Have you ever had any... Um... Well, you know, it's a lot of caveat emptor, right? You know, buyer beware kind of thing. Um, not necessarily redial, because redial, what's okay, redial is, is, is on the surface. So you should be able to know pretty quickly if it was a redial. Um, but like you had said, like restoration, like you never know what's going on on the inside. Right. Like there could be something buried inside the movement that's not original. And yes. Unfortunately, yeah. how would you ever know? Yeah. Because fake parts, even in the, you know, even in the Swiss brands, fake parts exist. Mm -hmm. Fake parts, you know, mm -hmm. not, you know, they'll even have, you know, Rolex parts, they'll even have a little coronet on them, mm -hmm. etchings mm -hmm. and stuff. Well, that segues nicely into oh. point number eight. So, okay, so we don't jump to eight. Well, f Frank and watches, because that's the definition yeah. of a Frank and watch. Yeah. Yeah. Have you had any experience with those? Not really, because I don't play too much in the used crowd, right. although I did. <laughs> until I bought another Pogue. <laughs> oh, you bought another Pogue? How, wait, how many Pogues have you got well, now? Well, this is my second. Okay. So the first one I had is a blue dial, right? Yes. And you've seen that one. So you got gold. So now. <laughs> oh, my God. So I had a customer email me. I love that. Yeah. I had a customer email me and he's just like, I, you know, I don't know if you buy watches. He's like, but, and I, I don't, but he's like, I have this. He shows a picture and I'm like, and it's, it's a golden dial Pogue. Yeah. Original box, original price tag, wow. original booklet, original receipt. Wow. Original everything. The only thing that's not original was he had to replace the bracelet because the bracelet deteriorated. Okay. No, broke. that's uh, understandable. So yeah. So I, wow. I bought, I bought one. So it's so now I know it's got a different. It's not an OEM crown. It had to be right. crown had to be replaced. So now, but he was very forthright. He said, "Yeah, you know, well, that sounds like and legitimate." So, and so now I know. And, yeah. But yeah. So yeah. And it's interesting you bring up the Pogue because that is one of the most notoriously yes. redialed. Yeah, because people want. Yeah. The original and to find one that's untouched and is. If it looks really good you jack up the price, right. you know, like... The, if it looks really good, chances are it's not original. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> right, yeah. right. I, I'm glad you brought uh, up about Under the Hood because I had uh, two friends ripped off by the same dealer. Oh. And I'm not going to name names. And I wish I could because... But the thing is, it's just the legality. <laughs> pretty, pretty well known on YouTube. Oh. This person's still active. Oh, so uh, that would be slander then because it's spoken. Go ahead. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> fine. I'm not going to say names, but this person is around uh, and they have an active YouTube uh, channel. And they ripped off two of my friends. And mm. th the, the issue was they both bought Rolexes. Okay. Both date justs. Okay. At a really great price. They stopped working. Took them to um, a watchmaker to open them up uh, because this person didn't stand by their product and didn't offer any. Uh, right. Didn't look after my friends. So they took it to their own people, because uh, these are seasoned watch enthusiasts. And because this person had a following, they they kind of, you know, they, they didn't question it. Right, um, right. And I guess a little bit on, uh, is their fault, right? I, moral of the story. Opened it up, it was all gunk. Oh. On the outside, fine, but it was like, you know, rusted pieces right. and some non-original pieces. And none of this was disclosed. And then when confronted with this individual, okay. uh, they, they, they no. did nothing about it. That's poopy. Yeah. And uh, I, I... They, they agree. They agree. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And to this day, it irks me that this person's still active, still right. out there. I mean, no. it, it goes into one of which one? Number six, dodgy dealers on social media. It's a thing. Right, right, right. It absolutely It's a is. thing. I just want to say that I'm very, very fastidious and picky and fussy about who I recommend. Right. The people I buy watches are from probably a handful. I could name five. Probably no more, no less. I don't right. think. You know, you are one of them. Right. right if yeah. I want to uh, say, "Co Arnie," right. I know who I'm going to go right. to, and that's what you pay for. Right. It's true. Actually, very true. Actually, this is going into the whole dealer thing, but like. Yeah. It's they got to be rept, uh, right. reputable. I yeah. know you're going. If I recommend you, buy the seller. Yeah, if I recommend Mark, I know you're going to look after them. Right. 
You know, it, not every interaction is ever going to be perfect. I, you know, like no one's perfect, but mm -hmm. there's always there's always outliers. Yeah, it's we're human beings, right? Yeah. Because also it's going to it reflects on you. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. I buy where I, you know, I recommend where I buy from. That's right. Anyway, sorry, this sounds like a rant now. It's okay. We're supposed to be talking about fr <laughs> Franken watches, but that is but a Franken watch. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I say also, you know, you want to do your homework because I know that. Like, I don't know why, but like, Oris is a crazy, what do they call it, Mumbai special? Oh, yes! What's the deal with that? Yes! Why? Why Oris? Why did they get targeted? That is a good question. It's, it's Oris, it's Fortis as well. Is it Fortis? Okay. Yeah. I always know it's I, Oris. I always see the term Mumbai special, which no, yeah. no, no derogatory <clears throat> towards India or anything. Nine out of ten times they're from India. Yeah. The thing is, is that they target primarily entry level, well, entry-level Swiss brands that right. have a name. Right. And they're a m mishmash of all kinds of different yeah. movements. At some point, there was a surplus of parts and it's it's just big enough to get kind of like Got below it. the radar, Got but it. not it. too big. Right. Where, where it's, if it's a Rolex, it's obvious. Yeah, right. Yeah. right? But I if guess. it's an Oris, it's oh, like... Oh, that could have been Oris that was made in 19... Yeah. 19 yeah. blah, 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 with Got a it. strange yeah, multi-fluorescent... <laughs> You know, and the font's always the same on the yeah, yeah. part. And, yeah, and they have like cathedral hands on a 60s watch. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. yeah, it's anachronism. eBay introduced the authentic yeah. Authentic authenticity guarantee. Authentication, I can't say that. Authentication? They call it an authenticity guarantee. Right. I've done a video. Uh, in fact, actually, eBay were kind enough to sponsor the production of the video oh, because cool. I'm a customer. Well, I use the service. Right. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Yeah. Okay, let's sponsor the video. Okay, per cool. Perfect. So I did that. But the problem is, is that to qualify for that, you've got to be over, uh, I think, it, what was it? A thousand or something? Well, I could tell you this much, because in one of the other videos, we just discussed a Range Master that was over two grand, and it yeah. had the authenticity, authenticity guarantee. guarantee. Yes. So maybe it's two grand. So yeah, it's a couple of grand, right? I forget, I did the video two years ago, right? But Oris doesn't qualify for that. Oh. So they fly under the radar. Nice, nice. They're in the donut hole. Yeah, it's... It's kind of, it's a bit like the it's comment, yeah. It's genius. <laughs> it's genius. Yeah. If criminals could take all their, you know, negativeness and yeah. put it towards positiveness, the world would be a much better place. Right. It goes back to what you were saying earlier. I have to read oh, your okay. quote. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, quote. I know it. it. You could say it. Love to hate, hate to love. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was a great quote. Um, yeah, we were talking about the negativity about people critiquing watches and and how like you can't really talk until you've done it yourself and you've invested money and put out a watch and you know really like stood by it and it's a gamble it's a huge gamble people's families are on the line and their livelihood are on the line when they put out watches and it's so easy just to go <laughs> uh, <laughs> whole different discussion okay um so dodgy we're back to number six so seven seven is replicas i think that's fairly yeah we should know that Everyone yeah should know. i think they should know that well, I, hopefully you know if, hopefully you know what that is and hopefully you don't think that a replica is real yeah i still get comments on on uh, i think like how to spot a fake or okay, something yeah. saying oh yeah but you can get this it's really great and it's like you've missed the point yeah yeah, yeah it's not it's illegal yeah you you're putting something, you're breaking the law, right? and then what does that say about you? Yeah. I always get blowback from people when I say you're supporting criminal organizations. Right. And they're like, yeah, but... Uh. Yeah, don't worry about it. If you go to any customs and excise website of any country in the whole world and you see exactly what the same organizations are involved in, and I'm not going to say because it's really like, it's despicable business practices, the worst of humanity, right? It's all interconnected and they're like, you're directly contributing yeah, towards absolutely. that, you know? Yeah. Number six, dodgy dealers on social media. Have you had any experience? Um, I will say, buy the seller. Right. And, that's, I, and I said it before, it's always just the way that I feel. If it's too good to be true, mm. it's probably not true. Right. And that's, uh, I think, a very good, you know, a very good lesson to uh, kind of take away from the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, it's, um, it's unfortunate a lot of people fall prey or victim to, to things that are going all the way down, obviously all the way down this list. Um, but yeah, do, do your homework. Yeah. That's what I always like to say, do your homework and research. So if it's a, 
if it's a dodgy dealer, there's a good chance someone's written something about yes. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, reviews, Google reviews, retail that reviews. That is the good anything. thing about the internet is that it's yeah. out there. You know, people will, I, I guess, email a lot and say, well, why should I buy it from you when this guy's got it for less? And I'll say, well, it's a, you know, it's a valid question. Yeah. I say, just do your own homework on the, on the internet. L mm. Review, look at the reviews, see what people are saying. And yeah. Make your own informed decision. Absolutely. So what is, uh, so we got a new entry at number five which I've never talked about, and yeah. we've personally experienced now. <laughs> yeah, I guess Price so, right. gouges on, yeah. on kind of hyped up watches. Yeah, or new, new releases. New releases, limited yeah. editions. Yeah, I mean, obviously we talked about it in, in, in reference to the, the range master, because right. there are people gouging. But I guess, is it gouging when the watch isn't available anymore at retail? I mean, I, I, it, it is, but you know, obviously it was flipped. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, is, I see on forums, they bought it and they say something like, oh, um, I, I'm buying a couple of more watches. I, I, you know, like I need the money for this. Right. And it's like, come on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I experienced it. Uh, deal, I've seen dealers do it as well on a new, newly released. Uh, a great example was, um, it was a Seiko a couple of years ago. Uh, the, the, the guitarist guy, uh, Brian May. Brian May, yeah. The yeah. Brian May <coughs> Seiko 5 came out. Every Seiko Five is pretty much in the same price range. They're all about the same, mm. with three, you know, three fifteen or whatever. Mm. And you know, I don't, I forgot how many Seiko made, five or six thousand or so, and each dealer got like two. And if you qualified, and I looked online, and there were stores, stores, authorized stores, selling them for seven ninety five, eight ninety five, because they knew that they could get it, because everyone wanted it. Yeah, I have to say, I, I was not a fan. That. Of the design? No. Uh, whether you're a fan of the design or, I guess that's not even part of this conversation. Um, right, right. I didn't right. even know that the thing that it came with, <clears throat> <laughs> to show my naivete, it's a coin uh -huh. or something. It's apparently the coin, It's a because he played with a certain coin instead of a guitar uh, pick or something. Okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, like even like I saw like authorized dealers selling them that's for crazy. 500 bucks above sticker. And I'm like, crazy. how could... I and those are authorized dealers? Yeah. Because, you know, dealers set what's called MAP, mm -hmm. minimum advertised price, mm -hmm. okay? Um, you can't price fix, you can do minimum advertised price. Uh, so you can charge whatever you want, but you can't go below a certain number. Mm -hmm. Remember, rather than just cause a fury and sell two at retail, I just, I gave them away. I ran yeah. a contest around them yeah, um, yeah, and gave yeah. them away for free. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, I do not like price gougers. It's difficult because I saw, I saw G-Shock, they released, at the time of this recording, they released um, the Super Mario oh, yeah. watch. R really neat, really cool. And on their website they put uh, limited to you know, one per one person. Per. But that's not effective. No, it's not. No. Because you keep logging on and buying another exactly. one under a different email address. Exactly. See, I guess that's where kind of like, I hate to say it, the Moon Swatch, they kind of did it right because you had to buy it in person and they limited you to one or two. And if you wanted another, you had to get back online. Right. And wait, you know, three weeks later. And I guess that kind of really stems the amount you can buy. In the meantime, you're in the store and you're likely to buy something else. Yeah. The genius of that move keeps coming back like months later yeah. into, into... Yeah, conversations and into, yeah. into, into everything. I remember when that first hit, there was some serious price guy. Yeah, price oh, scan. major. And it still is, I mean, but yeah. I think on some of the harder to find references. There's definitely a relationship with some like publications where they, you know, they do a limited edition with such and such a brand. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that to me always, sorry, that to me always feels a little underhanded. It's right. like, I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, um, I might as well say it like, Things that are ridiculous, like <laughs> costs. Right. Oh, you know yes, what I'm I have seen about. those things yes, before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, I think. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Slender. Mm. <laughs> right. Edit all of this out. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's oh God. It is annoying that you can't. <sighs> There's a part of me just just wants to because the deeper I yeah learn or get involved and learn yeah. about the industry. You see how the sausage is made. I still, I'm still, I, oop, I'm still love watches. This passion right. is still there. I'm yeah, still, yeah, yeah. I'm always. That's always. You're getting me. more behind the curtain, though. Yes, yeah, some of it does kill me, and most of the time, it's not. It's the marketing, and yes. it's that aspect. It's yes. the it's journalism. Not the, it's not the manufacturer part. No, because no, that's fine. I've been in many watch factories, yeah. and, and there's there's a purity about yes, there is. A, a person 
putting it together and blah 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 and taking pride in the polishing and like oh the dial design. So are you saying it's something about deceptive marketing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there so we why go. Why don't we come back up then? Okay, <laughs> fine, fine. We'll get to that. Yeah, number one is deceptive marketing. Uh, gray market. This is something I need your help in. Yeah, sure. To me, Fine. gray market. Go ahead. I've been a victim of gray of the gray market. I bought se I bought a Breitling. I bought a Amiga. I bought several watches. Mm -hmm. Had issues with them, mm -hmm. uh, and they were covered by a third party okay. guarantee. And then one I returned. There was a restocking fee. It was hidden. Yeah. And not a good experience. Customer okay. service. So what is your? So I think you know my. You know, the gray market exists for a reason. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, how about we just do really fast, what the hell is gray market? Mm -hmm. So gray market, parallel imports, all the same thing. Basically, um, I'll just use, I'll use an example of Seiko. Seiko makes a watch and its destined market is only the EU, mm -hmm. let's say. Oh, you know, how about the Zimbi Turtle? Mm -hmm. Those are all made for Thailand. Right. Um, you'll never see them for sale in the U.S., theoretically, mm -hmm. you can't. Um, but, you know, maybe they'll ship a couple to some stores in the U.S., they meaning dealers in Thailand, and then now they've just become gray products. Mm -hmm. That's gray market. It's not illegal. It's not white market. Um, it's but not it's basically, black market. It's not black market. It's not organs. Mm -hmm. um, it's, not illegal, it's not illegal stuff. It's basically stuff that's meant for sale in another country. Right. That's probably the simplest way to put it. Got it. Um, so gray market, see, my opinion is gray market, and you might agree with this, is okay as long as you know who you're buying from, you know what to expect. You're okay not getting manufacturer's warranty. You can return it if you don't like it. Um, the service that you, the warranty you get is actually that, like works. Like, yeah. you know, like it goes to a real watchmaker. So maybe it doesn't go back to Breitling, right. but it goes back to someone who works on Swiss watches. Right, right, watchmaker. right. You know, if you're okay with all that and you want to save a couple of shekels, it's, I'm cool with it. I'm yeah, cool yeah. with it. Um, I think the, ter the term gray market, I think is thrown around so much um, in regards to luxury watches. Like yeah, it's super changed. high-end luxury. It's changed, and isn't it? Yeah, because, I mean, I guess there's a Rolex gray market. Of course there is. Um, but I think a lot of that stuff is just kind of bought and resold. And it's more of like the you. it's more of like the used market, but only used for, you know, an hour kind of thing. It's been mm. bought already at some point, and now it's just being flipped, flipped mm. around. Is that gray market? It doesn't ca doesn't classify to me as gray market, but maybe I'm just naive yeah. um, in, in in my thoughts. I would rather w buy a watch from a person, like a like a private person, like a an individual who like a used watch. Yeah, okay. like like I can't explain it, but for example, like a, a Speedmaster, mm -hmm. I'd rather buy this or any Amiga actually, like off a person that own that watch and kind of knows what they're doing and, and kind of yeah and maybe there's a little um maybe there's a bond that develops yeah i don't what, what is is it, am i just soppy am i just am i just hey, over romanticizing you know, you like a little yeah you like a little story with your yeah. watches i would say i just there's, there's a coldness there where it's right. a commodity and it's like yes. get it out as fast as quickly and, and and even the manufacturers themselves like when we went to wind up wind up is a great example because you talk to a lot of the watchmakers, the, the, the designers of yeah, that watch, sure. the, the, the owners of the company, and you feel the passion there. Mm -hmm. And like that, like that really is something. There's a pride in their product. Yeah. Yeah. These gray market people, it's like, uh, it's like um, stock market. It's well, just, it's, it's, you said it, you said commodity. It's and a that's, commodity. That, that's the word. It, it turns it, me it off. It gets commoditized and am I, I agree is, with that. Am I the only person? Well, you're not the only one, but even just like being a watch seller, and yeah. you know we've kind of, we've kind of had this conversation before. Is that eventually every watch that comes into my warehouse is an investment, and it's got to be sold at a profit. And so it kind of unfortunately, when you get to a certain level, it is a commodity. Yeah, but I tell you the difference between you and other people. Oh, I people. care. Well, uh, yeah, you care, <laughs> but you went into this because you had a love for it. That's true. They went into it because they had a love for money. Well, it's a, it's a business degree. Yeah. 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 And you can see it a mile away because they carry the big the brands with the most profit margin. When I see a dealer and all they sell is like APs, Rolex, and occasionally like some Cartiers now mm -hmm. because they're they're hot. Well, at the time of this recording, who knows what will happen? But you know, like yeah, it, yeah, I know why you do that because yeah. it's like they're they're more. It's well, it's that, it's that, about money. Bang for the buck. Yeah, it's not necessarily like 
oh, what's your first watch or what's or yeah, you're, you're a collector oh there's a limited edition uh, I don't know some obscure German brand yeah. it's like oh th this was the first watch to have this complication mm -hmm. and blah blah yeah. blah and it's it was story behind it yeah like there's a big difference between and this goes into like um, a little bit like the fashion watches we could discuss later but I notice a lot of these guys they wear their inventory and they they, they flex this fake yeah, lifestyle yeah. Yeah, where sure. they're like you know yeah I know what you mean I don't know it's all a facade anyway it it's, it's ready to come cr crumbling down with the, it, with the crypto market great what a what a cheery cheery video this moving is moving on <laughs> moving on <laughs> um, what have we got here Alibaba and I just wrote that because I'm, it's it's a lot of like it's a lot of bulk buying kind of generic. Some of it's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, I, I know that um, I'll, mention, I'll mention another channel. Sorry. Okay. Where he'll buy a watch off of usually AliExpress or something. Mm. And the dial's got so many misspellings. Words that don't make really? any sense. Yeah, it's oh kind of, it's hysterical. Cause it's like, if you just, you know, I understand that everybody has a mastering of the English language. But if you just took five minutes and just kind of like, <laughs> you know, like Googled it, you yeah. know, it, you would find that you have misspellings and everything. And these are, these are like manufacturers that... Manufacturers churning out watches. Who... who so they're not making like, replicas, they're making, you know, almost homage kind of watches. I did a video a long time ago about Danny Wellington and how like mm -hmm. you could order bulk buy without the label. Yeah, without the label. Same watch. Few bucks, yeah. yeah. Is that the same, is that this kind of thing it is? No, this is a little bit different. This is, I would say, no, because it's, um, it's, it's um, I guess you'd call it uh, B2C. It's direct to the customer. It's from the, the mm. manufacturer to the customer. Mm. Um, so it's not really like a private label or anything like that. Oh, so okay. like they're making these watches where the... <laughs> The stuff on the dial makes no sense. Right. Maybe the numbering makes no sense. It's an error somewhere, oh, and it's, yeah. it's very blatant. Right. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So where would like the kind of Pagani designs and this, this fit into that kind of thing? So I guess that, you know, it's if Ali you want to call that, right? uh, yeah, it's like AliExpress kind of stuff. You know I mean, do you get emails from AliExpress? Yes. Yeah. Hi, we run the store for blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. We'd love yeah. for you to review this watch. We are the number one store for it. Yeah, yeah. I it all the time. I had one the other day. It was like, hello, handsome. Hey, yeah, got yeah. that right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, check one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hello, handsome. We make a nice watch. You you review for us now, please. You know, it's yeah, like yes, I'm I'm honest. I'm honest. I I know that sounds like oh god, I'm gonna have to edit that out. That sounds like I'm making fun, but seriously, I get uh, That's how it comes. four or five of those yeah, every day. You're right. And it and it's I, I like the hello handsome one. That was that was good. That was ingenious. That was uh, great. It got right to you. <laughs> yeah. All the defenses down. Yeah, down. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should review. Oh, it's kind of like a Daytona, only it's got a weird. It's a Dayflona. Yeah, Dayflona. Yeah, I guess that ties into yeah. number two fashion watches. Yeah, I'm just. I mean, you can like fashion. Watches. Are they dead Is now? I, no, no, I don't think they're dead. No, fashion they're still watches? going. I don't think they're dead. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think so. Walk into a mall. M I can Macy's. Most of this, yeah, Do they have malls anymore? Stuff. I was in one recently. Really? Yeah, I was in one yesterday. But I was having dinner at a restaurant in the mall. Right. But yeah, there, there is a Macy's there. Oh my god. Yeah, no, fashion watches are still alive. I, you see, uh, body and just you know, oh, okay. easy courts, strict courts movement. I had really imagined it was a thing of the past. Well, I, don't I don't know think why. It's a thing of the past. No, maybe your past. Right. <laughs> but no, very much alive and you know, churning them out. Like Interesting. Butter. So, I, what would you define a fashion watch? It's a, it's a, it's oh. a clothes brand. Yeah, it's just a private label. Um, Ralph Lauren or whoever. Yeah, just but actually no, they got some decent. Yeah, watches. they have decent watches. Okay, um, sorry, scrap that. Uh, you know what? Actually, good point. Um, the people who make Ridge Wallet just came out with a Ridge watch. You, you're, a lot of your viewers might know. It's, okay. Um, uh, they came out with a watch, and it's it's like a th it's a three hand plus GMT quartz watch, and it's like five hundred bucks or something. Oh my god! And it's just like a private label. It's got Ridge right. Ridge on the dial. So yeah. Um, no, I think fashion watches still. Michael Kors. Michael Kors would be a yeah, great example. Yeah, 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 and they're still going. Yeah, it's just the econo e economics of it is, it's, you know, you're paying, you're paying literally four hundred percent extra for the name. <laughs> for the name of the dial. Watch it does nothing. Yeah, when you all time. Well, yeah. I mean, they all tell time, right? But yeah, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> but there's a, there's a big. Uh, discrepancy between you know you could do that for a hundred bucks from with a with a with a well, not, well now two hundred bucks perhaps with a 
orient or an or a citizen yeah. or a, a seiko with a brand True. that real very, yeah very different yeah it's, very, it's, very it's, different. It, but they're different but they're different markets you know they're, they're going after people that don't know that aren't in our little our, our little circle that we're in right but they do get some people into it they do and, and like i said and that's you know I've, I've said that as well as about whether it be MVMT, whether it be Daniel Wellington, mm. whether it be smartwatches, yeah. whatever. It's, if it gets you with something strapped to your wrist and so yeah. that one day you want to upgrade or... Which do you think is worse? Smartwatches or, or fashion watches? Oh man, you were pulling my heartstrings Yeah, there. yeah. Uh, probably fashion watches are worse. Really? Okay, why? Yeah, because I feel like smartwatches have utility. There's a lot that can be done with them, you know, whether it be your fitness goals or mm. your appointments or your messages, and it prevents you from taking your nasty phone out of your pocket and looking at it every three seconds. You know, a fashion watch could be as much as an Apple Watch. But at least the Apple Watch, well, I, I'm a, we'll just talk, we'll just say it's an Apple Watch. It's kind of what you're referring to. Right, <laughs> right. right. It's yeah. watches, right? But, you know, the, the price is kind of built into the product a little bit. Right. It does a lot. Whereas a fashion watch is literally a Two dollar, dollar yeah. quartz movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get with three hands on it, and just a bunch of gems and a name. Yeah, it's difficult. They're both kind of disposable at the same time because the the the, the smartwatch will eventually be obsolete. Yeah, and need replacing. Mm -hmm. But the fashion watch, I think, because it's a fashion watch, it's probably not going to age well. Yeah, maybe it'll come back into fashion one day, yeah. like bell bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you wait long enough. Yeah, exactly. Right, right, yeah. Uh, that yeah, that's an interesting discussion, guys. What, what do you think? Which is worse? Okay, so number one is you introduced me to this as seen on TV, deceptive marketing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So tell me about the what was it? Stauer. Stauer. Kind of introduced to me like when I used to flip through like a magazine like on a plane, right? Or like a Popular Mechanics, or mm -hmm. three magazines, and it would. And it'll be a whole article about how the mechanical watch is such a master. We've only found three in existence that, that are <laughs> capable of displaying the day and the date and the time and crafted over the years by right. blah, 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 and this whole thing. And there are $40,000, but today we've got one for you for three easy payments. Three so easy payments. $49.95. When I hear three easy payments, yeah, that's when that's your yeah. morning, morning <laughs> bell's going off. Yeah. yeah, so that one you know and they're not the only ones guilty of it a lot of companies are guilty you of could it. say it's a bit like the Q qvc yeah the marketing tactics of invicta with yeah. the like oh uh, uh RS, inflated retails uh, msrp yeah is 500 but you can get it you can say for 30 cents yeah yeah <laughs> what is there any other kind of deceptive marketing because that seems to me i i haven't seen a magazine in a plane for a very long time you know, it was novel like in the, in the 90s and 2000s right. and stuff because it was kind of new at that point. Mm. That's when like, um, like really mass made, um, made in China watches were kind of, you know, 37 jewels or whatever. It was like uh, real right, ornate right. and elaborate watches were kind of making their, making their way, you know, um, making their way into market. Uh -huh. and that was their, that was their way of telling the story around. I guess that's probably another good deceptive marketing would be crafting a fake brand story. Right. Right. So we, we invent a name and we create we craft a whole story around it. I've seen that with um, I, I'm not going to name names, but yeah. there's they for some reason they like to pick Italian names because mm -hmm. it has oh, yeah, like sure. old world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let's yeah. let's pick a word for like like a Philippe <laughs> name. <laughs> I don't even right. know if I can put that in a video. Um, I'll just invent a name. Giuseppe <laughs> Parmigiano. <laughs> Parmigiano. Giuseppe Parmigiano. No, they invent this story. It's yeah. like, ah, it was made in the foothills of Tuscany. Yeah, and they show a picture of a bunch of people huddled yeah, over yeah, a yeah. desk and they're yeah. measuring stuff and they're, ta and they're taking things. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah, that's the stuff yeah, that's it's, marketing. Yeah, and there's no such thing. Meanwhile, it's nobody that works in the foothill in a factory anyway. Yeah, I yeah. doubt they even speak Italian. I don't yeah. they have anything to do with Italy, but, but that's, that's a whole other story. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that is a really great, a great yeah. point. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of other examples. Maybe you guys can think of other examples of deceptive marketing. Um, I'm, I'm tapped out. I think. I think. I think. Yeah. How about marketing that makes no sense? Like, and I'll in, in current current events, uh, a Rolex that can go to 10,000 meters. Right. That, that titanium watch. Does now it's not deceptive. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. But, but you have to beg the question: Why? Why? Because Why? they can. 
Yeah, I don't get it. And again, nothing against, obviously. It's, I a, did it's, a, it's a major feat. I did a recent video and I called it a pejorative pissing contest with, with Omega. And yeah, it's just okay. like, it's like who, who can pee the furthest right. uh, in a very crude... I guess who can go the deepest. I guess that's right. what it is, but right. I don't really... Insert your in innuendos there. Yeah, it doesn't really mean anything. Because also, like, uh, I think... Uh, I have friends that are professional divers. I can't go diving because of my dicky lungs. But um, at, at several hundred meters, you're like, you're you're in, you're you're rarely in trouble. Yeah, yeah, you're not, <laughs> like, yeah, you're you're, not going. But yeah, no, uh, over two three hundred meters probably is not required. Yeah, it's body. like uh, that, well, that's like some saturation. Yeah, saturation divers. Super. Yeah. yeah, that's not even. Um, what do you call it? Recreational. Yeah, no, it's, it's underwater like welders. Actually, that is deceptive marketing because. 100 meters isn't really yeah. 100 meters is no it's well yeah and waterproof back in the day right didn't doesn't, didn't mean waterproof no it didn't mean that right yeah that's why it doesn't exist anymore yeah oh, so much to talk yeah, about see that maybe it's topics for a future show to, yeah add your topics down in the comments uh i think that's about it excellent i think we've covered it all guys uh, just be careful do your research ask a million questions yeah and don't respond to the scams in yeah, the comments. Please. Yeah. Uh, hopefully by the time I get to edit this, it will be over, I hope. Yeah, it won't be over. No. <laughs> no. It's perpetuity. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please thank don't you. forget to um, add your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like this video. A massive thank you to Mark. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, sponsoring the production of this video. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Ciao. There we go. Dun, da, da, da. That's a wrap. <sighs> okay. Get the drinks out. Get the vodka.